you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is x to power 2 over 25. This is equal to 25 over x squared. So the first thing to do here, let's cross multiply. Let's cross multiply here. So that we'll have x to power 2 times x to power 2. This is equal to 25 times 25. So x to power 2 times x to power 2, this is in the form of 8 to power n times 8 to power n, which we can express as 8 to power n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have x to power 2 plus 2. This is equal to, we can express 25 as 5 to power 2 times 5 to power 2. Applying this exponent property, then here we have x to power 2 plus 2, this is 4. This is equal to 5 to power 2 plus 2, this is equal to 4. Now, let's take 5 to power 4 on the left hand side. So we have x to power 4, subtract 5 to power 4, this is equal to 0. We can express x to power 4 as x to power 2, raised to power 2, subtract 5 to power 4, which is 5 to power 2, raised to power 2, this is equal to 0. Now, this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which is the difference of two perfect squares, which we can express as a plus b, a minus b. So in this case, we have a equal to x squared, and we have b equal to 5 squared. So this implies that a plus b, this is the same thing as x squared plus 5 squared, which is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. And a minus b, this is equal to x squared minus 5 squared, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. So let's start to solve equation 1, that's case 1. So here we have x to the power 2 plus 5 to the power 2, this is equal to 0. So this is in the form of a squared plus b squared, which we can express as a plus bi, then a minus bi. So from here we have x plus 5i and we have x minus 5i this is equal to 0. So this implies we have two parts here we have x plus 5i this is equal to 0 and we have x minus 5i this is equal to 0. So this implies here x1 is equal to minus 5i and here x2 is equal to 5i. So let's proceed to case 2. So we have that x1 is equal to minus 5i, x2 is equal to 5i. So let's proceed to case 2. Case 2 here, we have x squared minus 5 squared, this is equal to 0. And you find that this is actually the difference of two squares expressed as a squared minus b squared, which you can express as a plus b, a minus b. So here we have on one part as x plus 5, we have x minus 5, this is equal to 0. So this implies that we have x, x plus 5, this is equal to 0. And here we have x minus 5 is equal to 0. So this means that x3, let's call this x3, is equal to minus 5. And here x4 is equal to 5. So this implies that we have four solutions here. We have four solutions. Okay, we have x1 is equal to minus 5i. We have x2 is equal to 5i. We have x3 is equal to minus 5. And x4 is equal to 5. So let's verify let's verify 
that these four solutions actually satisfy the equation. Now, if you recall here, we have that x to power 2 divided by 25. This is equal to 25 divided by x to power 2. So let's start with x1 minus 5i. So we have minus 5i squared divided by 25. This is equal to 25 divided by minus 5i squared. So we have minus 5 squared. This is definitely 25 times we have i squared divided by 25. This is equal to 25 divided by minus 5 squared. This is 25 times i squared. So we have 25 times i squared. So i squared. So we have 25 times i squared divided by 25. This is equal to 25 over 25 times i squared. i squared here is 1. So we'll have 25 times 1 over 25. This is equal to 25 over 25 times 1. So this is the same thing as 1 is equal to 1. The left add side is equal to the right add side. And that implies that x1 satisfies the equation. So let's check x2. So let's check x2, which is 5i. Substituting this, we'll have 5i squared divided by 25. This is equal to 25 divided by 5i squared. So 5i squared, this is the same thing as 5 squared times i squared divided by 25. This is equal to 25 divided by 5i times 5i. And you find that i is equal to minus 1. So this implies that 5 squared, this is 25 times i squared, which is minus 1 times minus 1, which is 1, divided by 25. This is equal to 25 divided by 25 times 1. So 25 and 25 simplifies. So this means that 1 is equal to 1. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And that implies that x2 satisfies the equation. So let's check x3. Let's check x3. x3 is negative 5. So substituting negative 5, we'll have negative 5 squared divided by 25. This will be equal to 25 divided by negative 5 squared. So negative 5 squared, this is 25 over 25. This is equal to 25 over 25. So if you simplify here, 1 is equal to 1. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And therefore, x3 satisfies. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And that implies that x3 satisfies the equation. So let's move to x4. x4 is equal to 5. x4 is equal to 5. So let's substitute this. Here we'll have 5 squared divided by 25. This is equal to 25 over 5 squared. So 5 squared, this is 25 over 25. This is equal to 25 over 25. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And therefore, x4 also satisfies the equation. This, this implies that the four solutions here, x1, x2, x3, and x4, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe.